outside the CES 2013. And uh, so, who are you? My name is Giulia D'Amico, and I'm in the VP of Business Development for One Laptop Per Child and the creative designer, leading designer for the XO Learning. So, how was CES for you? CS was amazing, uh, completely in part expected success, uh, in part uh, completely unexpected uh, because of the amount of uh, press and uh, the reaction uh, of the people about the product that we unveiled. So what did you unveil? What are you showing here? So we unveiled three products uh, and this is the product that actually got the major, um, the major PR promotion. This is the EXO tablet. It's a new user interface, it's called ExoLearning, that we design thinking about children two to three years old up to 12 years old. And it's a design that it's an interface and it's a user experience that got design thinking about US, thinking about United States, thinking about a market that would be completely different from the usual OLPC uh, all PC countries, uh, but would be more a market where we know that children are used to and uh, are used to technology since uh, they are very little, since two, three years old. Uh, they used to know about iPads or Android tablets, uh, and we thought about them and how to create an interface that would be a, a safer environment uh, with an experience to learn. We created this one with the basic notion of uh, a question What would you like to be when you grow up? Children have dreams. They dream about becoming an astronaut, an artist, an athlete, a mathematician. So we design, we partner up with Yves Behar from Fuse Project, and we design these cluster icons, and we call them dreams. Let's open a dream. I want to become an astronaut. Here I have a selection of apps that are preloaded in the device. There are going to be 100 apps in English and 100 apps in uh, uh, Spanish. And all those apps uh, are coming uh, either off the market or a proprietary content uh, co-branded, one laptop per child, uh, and the different partners uh, that uh, are part of our network, from Little Pim to Lego, Sesame Street, uh, um, Common Sense Media, BMW. We divided them, uh, we categorized them uh, based on levels. Uh, so we have three, le three, three levels. Uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. We didn't divide them on purpose by target age because children should be uh, free to explore in a safer environment and sometimes are much more ahead than what we think uh, or what their target age. We also had the notion of the hero, who, is the, who represents that specific dreams. And here we have Neil Armstrong. We let the kids know who Neil Armstrong was. And there is a link in an offline mode to a Wikipedia page. Getting back to the dream, your hero could be somebody around your family. Could be your mom, your dad, or your teacher, or somebody else of your circle. So you can customize your hero. You can type the name and definitely customize the picture. We want to create this tablet, this interface, uh, in a way that, that the kids could personalize as much as they could to feel, to feel a sense of real ownership. It's a device where you can set up up to three children's profile. You have three different IDs. And uh, the moment that the IDs are going to be, the profiles are going to be created, uh, you will have the first dream uh, that is going to be appearing with the name of the child and the picture. Under the what we call MyXO, you have a selection of books uh, that are characterized that specific profile, as well as the journal. The journal is a feature of, uh, that records uh, every single uh, time that is spent under each dreams category. So it gives to parents an idea of the different interests that the child might have. If you want to be more specifically, you can break down the journal into a daily, weekly, or monthly usage of the tablet, or into the specific categories uh, uh, about, uh, around, uh, that, are <coughs> that are around creativity, um, exploring, uh, sharing, uh, communicating, uh, or can be as well divided into uh, the different dreams. 
All of these dashboards uh, are also connected uh, to the XO, in this case, XO Sophia, and uh, they're going to give a parent an understanding uh, of uh, which is the, uh, um, the profile of that specific uh, child. They're all connected to the Our Gardener uh, multiple intelligences uh, and talent scars. That means in this case was a visual spatial intelligence. It could be a, logic intelligen a logical intelligence uh, or a digital intelligence. We try to give an understanding uh, to parents uh, on what, where the child is going, uh, knowing that kids are growing and by growing they're clearly changing. Uh, but the overall idea is that we want to help parents uh, in having a better understanding of their kids. And these are also connected uh, to our app store a customized uh, app store that in this in our UI it's called Dream Store and the Dream Store it's based on the different dreams category you can click under the astronaut again uh, and you will find a selection of apps uh, preloaded uh, and with a specific suggestions about the child profile all the apps uh, specifically the ones that are coming uh, from uh, from the market uh, are all curated by One Laptop Per Child and Common Sense Media. Common Sense Media is one of our larger partners and is curating the overall curriculum to be also standardized to a US uh, curriculum. We have as well developed uh, in the, under this UI an ebook store with the same uh, uh, criteria of the Dream Store always to give a selection of books uh, that could be of an interest of that specific profile. There is an additional level of parental control uh, and it's a basic level that, that allows you to enable or disable internet uh, chat activities on paid apps. The moment that you disable all of them, uh, a child will still have access uh, to the ebook store and to the dream store and will be able to download uh, all the free apps uh, knowing uh, that is going to be work is going to be um is going to be working into a, a safer environment because they're all learning uh, apps or with an, an educational background another interesting aspect about this tablet is that uh, here you can see the tree profile they're all locked uh, you can get into each and one of them uh, always locked by a password that the parents usually has and the moment that the child doesn't use the device anymore, this has become a regular Android device. With Google Play Store and all the different, uh, all it's an Android Jelly Beam 4.2 for adults' usage. The moment that you don't want to use the cover, you can just take it out. The cover was designed with the EXO usual uh, uh, colors to make it uh, child friendly but also to make it more rugged. So if I understand correctly, <coughs> what you're doing is uh, a layer on top of Android? It's a skin on top of Android, correct. And it is, can be installed in any Android tablet? That is correct, yes. And uh, it's just like downloading an application and you install it and you have EXO feature? It is, uh, although for the moment uh, we license uh, the EXO learning UI to Vivitar because this device is going to be uh, on, say, on a retailer base sold starting in the United States uh, late spring uh, at Walmart store and walmart.com. Did they announce price? They didn't announce any price. Uh, the Walmart said that the price is very popular and we know that the price is going to be very convenient compared to other tablets in the same category. And knowing that also we share the same philosophy as Walmart, the same mission to actually uh, getting out there to the majority of the population and to the lower uh, part of the pyramid. So, uh, uh, how did how did these these ideas come uh, come forward? Uh, is there like uh, some uh, some uh, study of of what children need to why dreams and how did that happen? The whole concept right here? So the old concept is um, I mean, embeds all the philosophy of one laptop per child, all the constructivism approach and how children uh, uh, can learn by themselves. Uh, it's a very child-centric type of uh, device that supports uh, the school, supports the children uh, um, learning uh, environment by providing an additional sets of, uh, by providing a different way of learning. It's a more 
um, a discovery. It's a more a creative type than just a passive methodology of absorbing information. We wanted to make it in a way that is also fun for the kids uh, and gives them full freedom uh, to explore. Instead of looking at just YouTube video in, on, uh, on any other device, uh, they could actually do something more interesting. I'm not in this device, what we have been also looking very carefully was to try to embed specific apps that are also games. Uh, here, for instance, we put, again, in the astronaut, we put Angry Birds. Uh, Angry Birds uh, is a very famous game uh, and uh, has basic notions of physics. Uh, and we believe that it's very important for children at the very, at younger age to start understanding those dynamics. Uh. So um, you're trying to make uh, use technology in the school. You're trying to use technology to advance education through any country that might use tablets. We're also trying to use technology in a way that helps parents uh, better understand what the children are doing uh, and closing that gap of uh, being afraid of giving uh, digital devices to very young children, although children that are born, uh, that are born in, this, in this era, they are like digital citizens. Therefore, the earlier we help the parents uh, getting uh, a better approach towards children's learning uh, through technology, the better it's going to be. That's why we have we work with Common Sense Media with one specific uh, application that is called the Digital Passport. Uh, basically, we don't want to stop uh, the internet navigation. We want to teach them and guide them. Uh, it's like parental tips on how you can uh, work with your kids uh, in order to explain them and make a better usage of the technology that you have available. All right, so pretty soon, it's available. Late spring is available, starting from the United States. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> was feels like flying. It was incredible. That's cool. Unbelievable. Hi That's mom. Cool. Hi. Hello. Let me take a look. Hello to somebody? Hello. Okay. Hi. Hi, all you see. Peut-être on apprend à se connaître. Je me révèle petit à petit. Et parfois ce n'est pas à mon à mon avantage, certes. Mais j'aime trop dans un sens sortir ou avoir ma propre vie, ma propre indépendance.